tell me what to say. Hello and welcome to our exciting new episode of Serious Nimage with SBMA Brown and Gourmet Pants. Gourmet Pants. Gourmet Pants. Gourmet Pants. Gourmet Pants. Sorry. Wow. Okay, that was odd. Anyway, today we'll have a look at this pen. It came in this box. If you have two, you can stack on top of each other. The pen was uh, lent to us by Applebaum Pennen, and this is the Van Gogh shoes. A pair of shoes. First impressions. Uh, my first impressions are that they're not really my first impressions because I've used the, the same model but in a different finish. Okay. Um, so I, I'm just going to comment on the finish because I know the model very well. Uh, I think it is a nice finish. They they definitely, I think, captured the color scheme of the painting in the uh, pen. It's close enough, I think. Um, so I think that's yeah. that's definitely nice. Yeah. And um, as the, as far as the model goes, nice writing. Simple pen, not a, a super uh, 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 frilled. Uh, we call that frilled. Fancy, fancy bells and whistles. Exactly. It's a very uh, basic model. May sound a bit negative. I don't mean it in a negative way. It's just it's a good, reliable pen. What about your first impressions? My first impressions. Well, you're right. This is actually um, the same model as other Visconti's, like the Salvador Dali, the Hall of Music. Um, um, also the other Van the Gogh things, the Michelangelo, that was the rose gold one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, my first impressions of the model are, like you said, not first impressions. Um, although I really do like the model, so I, I do like the way it looks. I had actually not seen this packaging before. I do like the little wedge. It's kind of like a piece of cheese. Yay, it's so cute. And um, the finish, the, the colors, are very pretty. And that's, um, I don't know, I'm... I will say one thing though, we're talking about first impressions. This box has an overpowering smell. I have never experienced it. I don't know what Glue, it is. Maybe? If it's Yeah, or, or the material. Yeah, it smells it's like it's really outgassing. It's it that that sounds like a weird thing to say, but if you're talking about first impressions, you open the box and you think, "Whoa, they really stuck the shoe theme." So it's interesting. Well, it's not. It doesn't smell like smelly shoes. It smells like outgassing material. Like it smells like, weird. Anyway. Anyway. Um, what do they do? First impressions are positive, though. Yeah, I would absolutely. Say. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, da -da -da. So what makes it special? Well, what makes it special, I suppose, is the finish. Of course, Visconti continuously adds to the uh, Van Gogh slash Van Gogh series uh, by adding more and more finishes. And in a way, that's very neat. That means that I know there are a lot of uh, uh, Van Gogh um, uh, fans out there and you can really try to pick a pen that matches your favorite painting. And I do think it's neat that Visconti is really continuously adding to the lineup of these pens because by now it's become a pretty impressive lineup and it's very collectible. It is collectible. They are relatively affordable. I say that in the pen world because yeah, I mean that it could be a lot worse. It could be worse. Could yeah. be better. But um, if you're into fountain pens, chances are that this is at a price that you're, th you know, you know it could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think it's also kind of special because because there are so many in the collection. If you are a fan of the painter or uh, of a particular pattern, you can pick the one you want. So although that doesn't necessarily make this particular one special, it makes the whole series special. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. All right. Now, what was your writing experience like? My writing experience? Well, the last few Viscontis I've used, I have had a very poor negative. Yeah. Poor yeah. negative? A poor writing experience, and it kind of left me with like a negative impression of the nib. Not the pen, but the nib. And so, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much. Now, this is a steel medium, and uh, you want to show the nib? 
while I ramble about my writing experience. It's, uh, I was really, really pleasantly surprised by it. It is pretty much what it, they should all be. Okay, man. Sorry. Uh, quite smooth, really nice and springy, so it has a nice bounce to it, so if you want line variation, and if you don't like a really rigid nib, and gives nice shading to your ink, no skips, no hard starts, j nice and wet, not like a gusher, so it's not like a, like a fire hose, um, so enough that you could get away with it for everyday writing, but really very pleasant. And on the one hand, I was really annoyed because I was like, yeah, how many of these nibs have I used where they have not worked and it should have been like this? And of course, there's only one pen that I have now used like this. I mean, I've had other ones that have been great, but I mean, how many of them are now like this? Hopefully all. But this one was really, really great. So my writing experience was very pleasant. And the pen itself is not a really large pen, so I find it quite comfortable. And, you know, in hand, it's nice and smooth, nothing sharp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could post it. It's not a huge pen, so I think for most people, it's a comfortable size. And yeah, you want to, so. like, show it in your mm -hmm. hand. Yeah, it's definitely but, usable unposted. Uh, you post it and it, you got a decent sized pen, yeah. nice comfortable yeah. balance, like, sure. but what about you? Well, a very similar experience to yours. It's, it's, I think it's, it's enormous pity the, the recent uh, issues we've had with, uh, with Visconti nibs. We're not the only ones, I, I, I mean, I, I, a lot of people commented in my, my recent video saying, yeah, I've had similar experiences. And it's a shame, because the, the, the pens are really nice, but of course, at the end of the day, you buy it to write with, and if the nibs continuously skip, hard start, uh, railroad, etc., uh, that, that is a problem. So I'm very happy that this one wrote out of the box in the same batch, so along with this, uh, we got a London Fog, also uh, lent to us by uh, Applebaum. Um, and that one had palladium nib and also wrote straight out of the box. But this is exceptional. Yeah, so I mean, I hope I hope that this is a new trend that somehow Visconti has, has upped the quality control or something. Yeah, uh, on the but nibs. I mean, I, I have to say that I've used other expensive pens that have worked out of the box and, you know, they haven't skipped and hard started and the writing experience has been, you know, good. But this, I think this nib is exceptional. Yeah. So... I really like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially yeah. as a steel nib, so that instead of being the palladium, which is more expensive, it's it's exceptional. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you love about it? What do I love about it? Well, I have to say on this particular pen, the nib, really awesome. Yeah. I really, really like it. It's really nice and springy, great line variation, especially if you like hand lettering and, you know, added like a little bit of flair to your writing. It's really good for that. Also, it's cute. What do you hate about it? What do you like about it? Well, Jeez. I like <laughs> okay. I, I, Sorry, I like the model, and I know that Visconti has used it a number of times, but I, I think that's not a bad idea. Oh yeah, I it's... like the model too. <laughs> I like the facets, they're really pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, this was what I was just going to say. The facets are really nice, uh, because it, it lends a bit of, of sort of tactile sensation to the pen, because it's not round. It looks yeah. like it's round. But it kind of glitters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can see that it catches the light. It's very nice. I think it's nice. It's a simple model, but it is refined. Yeah. It's not a blocky design. It's it's not so it it, it works. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, things I don't like about it so much. Well, I mean that magnetic uh, closure is not for everyone. I think it would be really cool if it would also pose magnetically. I don't know if it's, if it's possible to to build that into the pen, but I think it would be neat. Um, I don't really have anything about it that I really hate. The one thing I will say is it is a metal section and of course they can get a bit slippery. Yeah. That's just the way it is. So mm -hmm. that, I think this would look stellar if the section was the same material as the, the barrel and cap. I have heard of um, some Visconti sections like pitting. Yeah. Um, I have not seen it on this and we've had it for a few weeks. And um, I have also not seen it on any of our other sections yet but no, we have no, no, no. i don't know if it's if it's like a humidity thing or like what causes it um but anyway it has not yet happened on this one 
But I am curious if it's happened to somebody else. Has it happened to you? Let us know. Down below. Uh, sorry. <laughs> what do I not like for myself? Um, well, the section has a lot of weight. So, I mean, that's not a huge deal because I do still find it quite comfortable. But if I've written a lot, I can feel that. So, like, I mean, a lot. So not like a page, but... You know, if I've written quite a bit, several pages. pages, you know, like 10, 20 pages, I, um, and you know, you feel a bit of fatigue. It's just one of those things that I notice after a, a while. So, um, yeah, but that is, for me, that would not be a deal breaker. Would you buy it? Um, wait, is that what we're on? Yes. Would you buy it? Okay. Uh, Apple Mom has this for 195 euros. And that is with that, so without that, that is about 160 or so. So for those of you who are lucky to be VAT-less, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, would I buy it? Okay, well, <laughs> I... Ooh, the only reason I would not buy this particular finish is because I like the, um, the, the Starry Night and the sunflowers and the iris is better so i would prefer one of those well that's the, the strength of this model of course that you can pick them in so many colors and finishes now that there's probably something for everyone yeah so also i, I don't really want a pair of uh, i mean a shoe called a, a pen <laughs> i don't really want shoe. a pen called a pair of shoes no, not that there's anything wrong with that i mean it's i know it's just yeah. it's not a big deal i think of the colors they have this is to me this is not the most stunning one but of course if you're a big fan of that painting then yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not that it's ugly. I just prefer, um, I guess, like the sunflowers and the irises are like more, more brighter, right, yellow happy. and pink yeah, and yeah, yeah. sea foam green. And then the starry night, of course. I mean, that's everybody knows that one. So um, the starry night was, I remember when I first started getting into fountain pens and I would go to Paradise Pen and like look at it. And I was like, oh man, that pen is so expensive. I would never, ever spend that much on a pen. Several years later. How the times have changed. But, um, yeah, that's back when I was sane, I guess. And, um, anyway, that's the only reason I would not get this particular one. But for this nib, I would, I would like this nib. Yeah, the nib's really nice. Maybe I'll just uh, send now, it back without the nib. Is it? Or is it not? Serious nib. The Snibometer, invented by Dave Wilde. David. David Wilde. Just want to make sure we get the name right. Yes, sorry. We were because having... the first time we had used it, we could not remember who had suggested and now it. Now I could remember half of it. Anyway. She remembered Thank you, half. David. Okay, so here we have this completely fairly arbitrary meter that is horribly made, and maybe we should make a new one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not serious, very serious. Um based on feelings and all sorts of things. I think this particular one, the nib makes it pretty solid, but the finish, because I'm not crazy about this particular color matching, or color scheme, I'm going to put it, I'm just trying to see on the screen here, I'm going to put it about maybe there. I would say this one is pretty serious. I know it's fairly expensive, um, but I have pretty much stopped justifying the price of pens based on, like, their material and filling system and all that kind of stuff because I've just given up on that. So, I know it's expensive. If I really like a pen and how it writes, I, I pretty much just gave up on trying to say, oh, that's expensive, but it's only a cartridge converter and, you know, it has a steel nib. If I really like it, then that just works. So, yeah. Anyway, so for me, it's pretty serious because the nib is exceptional. It is really awesome. You should look at my writing sample because it is really, really, really awesome. Yeah, just for the record, because people continuously say we should include writing samples in this, of course, we have our separate reviews that do include, include writing samples. To keep this somewhat under control, we give an overview of the pen and we don't do a writing sample here. At least not at this point. All right? so if you really Maybe want to see one it, day. Maybe one day, but not today. So not if today. you want to see one... Go to our uh, individual Sorry. reviews. Okay. Anyway, what about you? Yeah, I would, I would, I would 
place it there too. It's, I think it's, it's really pretty. Simple, reliable, nice pen, and this nib is very good. I think it's a so. really giftable pen because I yeah. think, although it's expensive, it's still, yeah. if you like someone a lot or if it's someone really special, it's still doable. Uh, lots, lots of colors to choose from, not just the shoes, but I mean, there's other. There's the same model, but other series, like the Michelangelo, like you said, the Salvador Dali, the Hall of Music. Ugh, <coughs> uh, uh, I sneeze. Schindite. Good, close enough. Close enough, how do you say it? Mm. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. In anyway. Dutch. Oh, in I Dutch. wasn't saying it in Dutch. Yeah. Yeah, speak Dutch. Hey, um, so yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's really nice. Me too. Now the question is, what else could you pick? If you say, I don't want them shoes. Well, I think, let's say... I do a very good impression of Lord Windermere. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's weird. Well, yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Isn't it? Um, I think the first thing that comes to mind for me would be a, um, other than other Visconti's of the similar model, uh, would be a Sailor 1911, I think the standard yeah, would be I around this standard. price, yeah, yeah, which would so. be the smaller one, but you do get a gold nib. Yeah, so. that's right. I was, I was going to say the exact same thing. I, I think that that would be an interesting competitor because you do get a gold nib. And it's also, I think it's roughly, I mean... Smaller. It, it's a bit smaller, but also kind of has a cigar shape. So yeah. if you like that, yeah. then, then that would be nice. And you get those in black and burgundy, I think. And there's, a, there's a demonstrator. There's a demonstrator. I don't know if this is burgundy. Well, the, the Pro Gear one. Slim comes in a whole bunch of yeah. colors. Yeah. So you can check out the Pro Gear Slim or the Sapporo. It goes by both, which comes in different colors. Uh, you could look at a Lamy 2000, I think, at that price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. That's a much more modern design. This is much more a uh, classic uh, fountain pen. I you think. could look at a Waldman but, with uh, a steel nib. Yeah. Which yeah. are a steel nib, but really nice steel nibs and also really nice finishes on the pen. Um, yeah. 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 yeah, so there are some options. I mean, this is a definitely a decent price range. It's a decent price range. It so gives you, yeah, gives a you lot options. of options. So it kind of, yeah. in a way, that's nice, but in a way, it makes your decision more difficult. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, kind of makes it fun. Yeah. True. Anyway, I think that's uh, I think it's a decent pen. Yeah, I think so too. Um. So we thank Applebaum for lending us the pen. This particular pen. The pen's coming back to Applebaum. If you want this exact pen with his exact nib, we're gonna send it back, and you can ask him for the exact pen with this exact. Oh, nib. that's gonna give him a lot of extra work. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's nice. <laughs> anyway. And we like to make other people's lives more difficult. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. If you hate this, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're, we're deeply sorry. There's nothing we can We're do. We're very, very <laughs> sorry. Anyway, and just for the record, if you do want, you can upgrade the nib to a palladium. Yeah, you it's can. It's pretty expensive, but it's doable. Yeah, but it's... So... Yeah. Okay. Anyway. We hope this Seriously, is useful. Seriously. Later. We'll see you later. Seriously. Probably. Yeah. Bye!